the Sac Joaquin section. Big on Sacramento here at Sleep Train. All right, basketball season's over, but the discussion is not over. I still have some uh, withdrawals going on. How about a little bit more basketball talk, such as the All-City Preps All-Area Team? Yeah, we got girls and boys, but it's girls first, Joan. Let's talk about some of those players. We've got 12 girls, we've got 12 boys, we have a coach of the year, player of the year for both sides. Let's get it going. Let's start with the girls. Let's start off with our player of the year. Uh, it is Florin forward post player, Delana Sampton. What a player she was, Joe. We heard a lot about, we knew what she could do on the court, but we heard a lot about her off the court. Oh, she's a 4-5 GPA. She's a leader on campus, a peer pressure counselor also on campus, a tutor, and in play, in high tops, she was a demon on the board. She could get 20 rebounds in a game, powered them to the NorCal semifinals in Division Three. Florin of Sacramento has the best player in the region, Delina Sampton, and a nice kid, too. Yes, she is. Let's continue right along. Now, we're not going first team, second team. We're just going to give you our 12. It's a team. It's a team. Let's go to Sac High. Two players on that team. We're going to start off with the big senior in the middle, six foot four center, Ayana Shaq Edwards. She is going to Arizona State. And what development we saw from her from freshman year to senior year. As a freshman, Mike, you couldn't throw the ball into her in the low post because it'd go right out of bounds. Now she's got these dominating post plays. She's got charisma. She's terrific. Also charismatic and, and, and fun and versatile. It was her teammate, Naja Queenland, going to UOP. Terrific defender, ball handler, scorer. You can start with those two on your defensive team. You're in good shape. You bet. All right, out to Pleasant Grove. Aaliyah, Aaliyah Pena led this team along with uh, Brittany Nuemba. Aaliyah Pena, the terrific senior, she is on this team. And we are so impressed with her. You know, she doesn't put up a lot of points, but she plays defense and she rebounds. Oh, and she was the driving force to get Pleasant Grove to the state championship, the Division I NorCal champions. And she's got personality. Yeah. She says, hey, one of these days I want to own a restaurant, Mexican food, soul food, and it's going to be called Hala Pena. So we like a little personality on our All-City Preps team. I like that. Hey, let's go up the hill to uh, El Dorado Hills. Two players there, both seniors, both have won some big games. Jen Hoffman, the terrific point guard for the Trojans, and her longtime teammate, Ali Betancourt. Uh, Ali Betancourt going to San Jose State. Uh, a terrific one-two combo that's about to bow out. Let's go up the hill the other way. Nevada Union up in Grass Valley. Sydney Porter, what a player she was, and what a season it was for the Miners. The Miners ended the regular season as, as B rank and all city preps ranked number one. She's the next in a great line of Miners over the decades, so she fits right on this team. That's right. Uh, McClatchy, what can you say about the McClatchy Lions? Came out of nowhere, really. We knew they'd be good, but they got young talent, and the lady in the middle is Destiny Lee. Uh, what a terrific season she had. Dominant player, only a junior, can rebound, can outlet. Re uh, just an example of hard work. And the bulk of that team returns, including her in the middle. Bright future for the Lions of Sacramento. That's right. Let's talk a little small school. We have some small school players on this team. We're going to start off with Erica Bean of Bradshaw Christian, the junior guard. She's won a couple championships now. Uh, we like her game. I think she's a terrific student. She's a great ball handler, really heady, smart player. She'll be back. It's a uh, small school. It doesn't matter. Big time talents are at all levels. Yep. And speaking of talent, you got Caitlin Reyna of Bear River. Uh, guard forward, she can kind of do it all. Really the, the clear player in that team, one of the best in our area. Uh, she had a run last year where they uh, went all the way to the section championship, uh, but came up short. They had a great year this year. Yeah, they did. And Bear River's up in Lake of the Pines. Been a basketball power since the early 90s. She's going to be up there as one of their all-time greats. Capital Christians, Haley Filer. I was so impressed with her, Joe. Small school, but she can play a terrific guard. Yeah, Division Five. She could play at any division, certainly. Went to the section finals, went into the NorCals. Suzanne Baker said, you have to have a leader. That's her leader. She had a good one right there. Jasmine Redmond of Monterey Trail. Oh, my goodness, Joe. Uh, she, you talk about talent. This team is loaded, and she's uh, one of the best. Oh, yeah, and uh, she's going to Hawaii like our player of the year, uh, Delia Sampton. And Redmond, also a terrific sc student, loves basketball, goes to boys' games yeah. because she says you could always learn. Shame on us for almost forgetting her. In fact, she'll start on this team. Yeah, I just missed her on my list, but no. And, of course, our coach of the year is Pleasant Grove coach James McKeever. Longtime coach for them. So happy that he is able to get that NorCal title. Uh, he's had some quality talent come to that program. Just happened to be their year. Uh, amazing, and he did it by himself. He didn't have yeah. any assistant coaches, uh, not by design. It just happened, and yeah. he had trust in his teammates or his players to say, Coach, so-and-so's got foul trouble. Hey, let's try this or that. He didn't have other assistant coaches. It all worked. That's, Beautiful. It did all work. All right, Joe. 
Uh, like our dream team, so to speak. Let's go with our player of the year. Uh, for All City Preps, it's going to be DJ Wilson of Capital Christian. You know, the Michigan bound, terrific post for them. Uh, he does it all. Uh, he can shoot from outside, he can dunk it. What a season. Wait till he gets to Michigan, where you could just unleash him. Got great strides, nice touch, shot blocker, high character guy, excellent student. Perfect, perfect for what we're looking for in high school sports. Yeah, our player of the year. All right, Joe, have you heard of a guy named Jordan Ford out of Folsom? I mean, he's pretty good. He is remarkably good. He's the most impressive sophomore I have ever seen in high school sports. Been doing this for 25 plus years, and he can handle the ball. He can shoot the ball. He's a champion. He's a winner. Composed. Nothing rattles this guy. He's an excellent chess player. That's where you kind of get some of that calm from. So uh, he's going to be around for a while. He's only a sophomore out of Folsom. Back out to Sakai, we, we touched on a couple girls on our team, but we got a boy on our side. We got Solomon Young, another talented player, sophomore, a big man. Uh, he had an injury at the end of the season, but he is so good. He called him a boy that would be inaccurate. Yeah. He's a man. He's a very powerful, dominant player, six foot seven, the sack working sections, top defensive player, not a serious knee injury. He'll be back next year. Yes, he will. Del Campos, Vasily Saraba, we sure like this guy. And one thing he can do, he can, he can shoot, and he loves to shoot the three-pointer. He's got a little flair to his game. He likes to hot dog a little bit. Terrific team player, devastating long-range uh, long shooter, can run the floor. He is fun to talk to and fun to watch. Yes, he is. How about Burbank's Jalen Coates? Uh, we got a chance to see him early on in the season, as we did later, and we were so impressed with him. Speed down the court, he can shoot it. What can't this guy do? Um, I don't know. I think <laughs> he can do everything. He, he's a good role model on campus at Burbank High, right there on Florin Road. Really quick with the ball. Also makes steals uh, and a good sportsman. We like that. Cameron Oliver of Grant, again, another guy that can really just do everything. Dunk it, shoot it. What a player. Oh, and he's six foot eight, and he is a ferocious follow-up dunker. He's got three-point range. He is a he's, he's a national recruit, still hasn't decided where he's gonna go, but Cam Oliver is one of the all-time great Grant Pacers. Yes, he is. We're gonna go to a couple teams that have two guys. Let's start with Jesuit. How about Lake Lutz, uh, center forward player for them, uh, going to Air Force, and then, of course, Isaiah Bailey, the terrific guard, do-it-all player. He'll be back next year. Great tandem. Lake Lutz, 6'7", with great shooting touch, and he can run the floor, and he's, he's just a terrific dynamite player, really was paramount in their section championship victory in Division I. And then Isaiah Bailey really impresses me. He's yeah, me a 1,000-yard receiver in football, tough, physical, fast. He's going to be back, like you said. He's a, he's a front-line guy for next season. We got one more. We got one more. Yep. Kasuma Soaks, Alex Van Dyke. You know, we, we mentioned him in our football team of the year. Well, he's on our basketball team of the year. Oh, and, and just a animal. Yeah. on the boards and physical inside he played the post he's only six foot four is the football recruit going to ucla uh, he's inspired by his teammate lj reed who is also a beast on the boards but so there you have shooters guards big guys small schools larger schools terrific team and we can